Hey guys, Ray Reacts here. I, I just skipped to the part. Of, uh, it's a long vlog. I just want to know what his uh, new project's going to be. So I can't wait to see. I, hopefully he'll drop some hints here. Early. And that's another reason why I've been working on uh, regular content as much. Although we've been getting weekly vlogs now. I'm working on something yeah. big. Like big big. And I haven't told a soul about it. Ashley's the only one who knows. Not even my mm. fans. Nobody knows what this is. So I realize a problem that I've had in the recent years is I've kind of spoiled or announced what I'm going to do before I do it. And then I that's feel true. like that removes the validation that you would get after you've completed it, if that makes sense. I think it's bad business to say what you're going to do before you do it. Uh, how I used to roll is I used to just work in the shadows. I wouldn't tell you guys what's going on and then all of a sudden I'd just do it. And that's part of like a creator. You don't want to tell, I don't want to tell you guys what the thing is. I want to show you what it is when it's done. And yeah. so I know I've promised things in the past and I <laughs> over promised and maybe under delivered at certain points in the recent years, but that's all about the change. Because I finally found the one thing that I really want to do. Like I said, I am not ready to discuss it yet, uh, but stay tuned to these vlogs. Make sure you're subscribed because I might start to unveil certain layers um, over time. And to be mm. honest, I'll share this. This project is unlike other things I've done before. Because the other things I've done before, there was mm. almost an instant gratification to it. Where what I'm embarking wow. on right now is okay. a very new process, a new journey. You guys might not get rewarded until later down the road. But that doesn't mean I'm not <laughs> wow. grinding on set thing it's more of a quality thing than a quantity thing anyway quality. i've already said too much i'm just gonna go back to clipping my <laughs> bushes <laughs> but i'll leave it to with this kind of personal finding that that i've discovered within myself over the last few years uh whether it be me working on story fire or helping all these like other aspiring creators grind on content i realized i was focused so much on other people and other people's goals and objectives or other people in the house or whatever trying to help them uh, or even helping ashley out with uh her streams or, or content and what have you it's kind of caused me to neglect my own true path and my own true purpose you know, whether it's Brian coming in with Storyfire and me being like, yeah, f it. you know, I can do a good job at adapting and trying to be the harbinger of other people's dreams and purposes. But I think it got, I, I meandered a bit too much over the last few years, focused on other people's goals and kind of got led astray. It reminds me of when I threw the devil necklace in 2019 out here. And I feel like in that video, you could kind of tell it was it was a little messy. Or and you tell yeah. I was struggling with like, the f am I doing? <laughs> and now yeah. years later, I realized all I had to do was I had to take some time to be alone and remove a bunch of people. And now finally, the universe has opened up and showed me exactly what I need to be doing. I am eternal. I am so grateful. I hate that I lost a few years, but I'm back. Like I said, I think you can tell. You can tell. You can tell by the vlogs. He's posting again. He's posting again. Needless to say, I am very, very excited. And I think you guys will be too because I'm I'm doing the thing. Oh, I wanted to just say what it is. I can't. I can't. Nah, it's not time yet. It's not time yet. <laughs> I almost didn't record this part because I'm like, ah, maybe, I don't know if you guys will relate to this, but I think you will actually. I think a lot of the reason why I was focused on other people's stuff or like, you know, I'm even, I'm focused on the subathon, the last, this vlog and the last vlog was a lot of huge focus on Yakes and, and him doing the subathon. And granted, it's a really cool, exciting thing, but it's not, it's not my thing at all. And I'm, I'm wondering, why am I just so focused on, on other people's stuff? And I realized, I was like, I wanted to do a subathon. And I've been wanting to do one for many years. And then I pushed Yakes to do it, and he's crushing it, whatever. And then I'm like, I could have done it. Why am I not doing this? Why am I not doing the things? And here's the takeaway. Maybe you guys can get something from this. I've got to a comfortable place. You know, I've put in a lot of work on the YouTube channels, just in, in businesses and a lot of different things over the many years now. And I feel like my glass has gotten pretty full, potentially overflowing to the point of like, I don't need anything else. I'm, I'm taken care of. And there are other people that are gonna come up and I wanna help them out. And I think that's fine. However, okay. one thing I've learned time and time again, a lot of people that I've helped over the years, where are they at? They're gone. Or I get to a place where I'm like, I could have did this myself, or why am I putting all this? And I'm like, I should be pouring it more to myself, but I feel guilty because I'm like, I've been doing my thing for so long. I want to help other people, but I'm like, I have the time people actually don't want to be helped. I don't know what the. F so I'm like, you know what? It. Just because my glass is full, don't mean we can go for extra credit and go beyond the comfort place because it's going to keep repeating itself. You're going to get to a place where you're comfortable again, and then you're going to get complacent, and you're not going to be, like, super pumped because you're not reaching for the stars. So, like, just because I hit a certain point doesn't mean I can't push more. 
And I think for a while, I was maybe demonizing, like, pushing for more. Because, like, is that greedy? Is that too much? But I'm like, no, you know what? I still got in the tank. I still have ideas. I still have things I need to do and want to do. And I don't give a f about other people's goals anymore. I really don't. Sorry. If you guys reach out to me, like, I'll, I'll cheer you on. I'll be like, hey, let's, do, like, do it, do it, do it. But, uh, yeah, I'm, so, I'm doing my own now. <laughs> I'm back to that. And, and then when I realize it, I'm like, wait, that's how, that's how I'm helping people. And I don't know if my dad watches this. Oh, <laughs> almost got a little choked up there. Because there was a lesson in how he raised me and Jeffrey. My dad would try to impart a good work ethic and whatnot. But, like, it didn't matter what he said. It didn't matter what he did. A lot of time, he just did the work. Worked. Two, I think at one point it's three jobs at a time while raising us, while doing all kinds of extracurriculars and whatnot. That is helping people. That is inspiration because you see it by way of the action and not just some support. And potentially, I think that's what I need to get back to and what the world needs more is people just doing the thing and then you're like, yo, that's helping me more than you know. So consider this like a, uh, a part seven of the uh, 250K motivational speech. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's about to get a rude awakening. Maddie just open this leg like, oh God. Don't worry guys, they're gone. I snapped them out of here. I'm not showing you the snap because we don't do that here. What the f are you supposed to do with like all these stickers? <laughs> I don't understand. They're everywhere bro, I'm over it. It's all right though. So I have a master plan for all of it. You'll see. It's gonna be cool. I'll practice everything that I'm gonna do with a bold statement that says, if you wanna learn anything, just go on Google. You can literally do anything you want. So, stop around. Ashley's microwaving the eggs off the internet, Bree. Well, I gotta say, that's pretty, pretty decent right there, guys. Not much right there. I knew you know, I had a feeling that he wasn't gonna share a lot of things, but he did make a good point. Uh, think about this, guys. He doesn't have that many friends to help out now. Uh, no Regina squad. Emily, he, she's gone. Uh, also Dom, which I'm surprised that we saw Dom in Florida, where Ashley was and, and her family. That was different. Um, I gotta say, it's like something big, something he's never done before. I, you know, it's kind of weird. I think he kind of said that when he did MVE. That was a lot different right there. I mean, we've seen something that was way different. We've seen about a... a about some kid who found some uh, uh, VR goggles that allowed him to go to another world where you can play a game, and if you die, you can just respawn and come back. But if you flip the switch, it becomes real, and that's crazy. And also, gain levels like on the arm, on uh, yeah, on this, on here, that's crazy. And also, you had to choose, uh, choose their fate basically. I, I find that I found that odd right there. You know, I mean, we've seen it from the first season of The Devil Inside, where we had to choose uh, who do who do we save? Do we save Isaac, or save Psycho Kid? And we all, like I said before, we all chose uh, Isaac to save because we've seen Psycho Kid's uh, we've seen Psycho Kid's uh, storyline on everything, but Isaac was way different because it was a new character that. We didn't know a lot about, and then we found out a lot about him uh, on MBE, which was that was good. So, what kind of pro project he's gonna be doing? But he's gonna be doing everything for. Him. He's gonna do some things, but hey, it's like what he said: don't don't try, do or do not. There's no try. I sound I sound like Yoda right there. That's what Yoda stated. Yeah, if it, don't say you're gonna do it, just do it. And that, that sounds like a, that's a Nike commercial. <laughs> I'm a new spokesperson for Nike. Just do it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I went all the way to the end. I wanted to make sure. I, I, hey, nothing against uh, Ashley's uh, streams on uh, baking and stuff. Hey, she made some good stuff, and that was a good thing. But uh, not having a lot of friends to help out with. And um, uh. I know that his his, his family's going to help. We all know that. But I still can't get over the fact what happened on Keemstar's uh, stream, guys, on between him and Emily. They really yelled at each other. But I think Jesse kind of understood what she was going through. And also, I, I, it's, it's, it's kind of hard for me to get, grasp the, the, the fact that Jesse just told her, you know, I, I'm just worried about you. You know, there's a lot of people that commit suicide when 
when the, when stuff like that happens. But she had, but she said the one thing that I think she finally understood. You know why people do that? It's because they're surrounded by be- because they're surrounded by people like you who don't support. And I think right there, that kind of hit the nail in the that hit the nail in the coffin right there. Think, well, think about that, guys. If you, like I said before, if he was really his friend, he would have supported her despite everything, and also being upset that he can't joke on her anymore. Like I said before, hey, I grasped, I grasped the idea that when I saw that video and Swift said. She, that she's a female, and she and, and doing the transition, I supported that, and like I said, I I met Swift at at VidCon back in two thousand seventeen, guys. That was in the in the middle of when uh, MVE was going. I'm sure you guys remember that. I'm sure you guys saw that video. Uh, it's just different, guys. You kind of think that whatever's going on between them, that. That's that there right. That's there. We all know that, but I have a feeling that also Swift. Someone I had one of my friends who watched me stream actually asked, "Are you and Jesse still friends?" And she said, "No. No. Plain no. That's it." So that that tells me that they're not friends anymore because of what. Oh, because you guys. I'm sure you guys remember what happened. Uh, Jesse made that joke, Jeffrey. Saxon Dahmer, and she was like, no, I'm just kidding. It's, Je- it's Jeffrey Dahmer, Do- Jack Saxon. No, I'm just joking. It's Jeffrey Dahmer. And we all know how that went. And also, yeah, all hell broke loose through that stream. Even Keemstar was, Keemstar and his friend were all laughing at the at the fact that they're yelling at each other on their stream. I mean, guys, I have to say, it, to, to, to long story short, you know, yeah, it's crazy how people have cha- they make their they they have to, throughout your life you're gonna make t- make tough choices. You're, there's gonna be decisions that you guys have to make. Some will be good and some will be bad. But the only thing, but if you think something too, uh, is too good to be true and you really want to go through it, you need to walk away because you deserve better than that. And I have learned this a long time ago. In this life, you don't have to prove nothing to anybody except yourself. You are the you're the one person that you got to pr- prove something to yourself to prove. If if you guys know what I'm talking about, well, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Sorry, it's short. It's just the fact that um, we haven't seen much vlogs on him, despite of everything. Uh, well, hey, I hope this week, I hope this week goes well for you guys. Well, guys, uh, at four o'clock, I'm going to see Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Quantum Mania, and I can't wait to see that movie. I, the one person I'm actually looking forward to seeing is Kang the Conqueror. So I can't wait to see that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reaction. Gameplay, Jocelyn, likes if you enjoy this. This is Ray Reacts. And don't forget, stay positive.